Do you want to colorize black and white videos without using any video editor? Then watch this video until the end. Hi guys, it's Sudo Ken. In this video, I'm going to show you how to colorize black and white videos without using any video editor. To do this, I'm using Google Colab and Project Deoldify, which uses deep learning to colorize images and videos. First, you should open your browser and type this URL on the address bar and hit enter. It is a Jupyter notebook of the project Deoldify on Google Colab. For your information, this notebook is intended as a tool to colorize GIFs and short videos. If you guys are trying to convert longer videos, you may hit the limit on processing space. Running the Jupyter Notebook on your own machine is recommended and faster for longer video sizes. I will do another video to explain how to run Jupyter Notebooks on your local computer. The first step is setting up the working environment. First, you should verify correct runtime settings. To do so, in the runtime menu for the notebook window, click on change runtime type. Right, change the hardware accelerator to GPU if it isn't selected as default. Right then, click on connect and wait until it connects. Click on run anyway. Now we can run commands in the order. Ok guys, next step is colorizing videos. Here you should give the source URL of the video you want to colorize. And this is the render factor, I will explain it. Before coming here, you should read the instructions. This field asks for a link of a video. You can import videos from video hosting services like YouTube, Imager, Twitter, Reddit, Vimeo, etc. Many sources work, you can find the full list by visiting this page. If you want to use your own video, you can upload it to a video hosting service like YouTube and Imager. The default render factor value of 21 works better with most of videos, but you can adjust it your own to get a better result for your video. If you don't have an idea of the most suitable value, you can run the last command and it will generate multiple colorized frames with different render factor values, so you can select the best value. After reading the entire instruction section, here the next step is creating URLs for the videos that we want to colorize. I have selected a video and I'm using Imager for hosting it. It let us upload even without signing up. That's why I selected Imager. Right, upload completed. Next, click here and click on Get Your Links. Then copy the BB code. Ok, now head back to the Collab page. Paste it down here and remove these tags. Ok, now we are about to see the magic. Click on here and wait until it generates the colorized version of the video you inserted. The waiting time depends on the video you selected. Uncheck the checkbox if you want to stop the watermark from getting printed. Here you can see the colorized version of the black and white video I inserted. If you can't be satisfied with the colorized version, you can try changing the render factor value and run the block again. To get a better render factor value, you can run this block and it will generate multiple frames with different render factor values. So you can get an idea of what value does bring the best result for your video. To download generated videos, simply right click on the video and click on save video as. I hope you guys will enjoy this video and don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. To watch more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel.